Mr. Speaker, 17. That's the number of questions the member from Edmonton Strathcona asked the Premier on health care in the last two weeks. One. That's the number the Premier has bothered to answer. And when she asked the Premier why he hasn't been answering her questions, he flippantly replied that it was because he felt his minister could handle it. Well, maybe we should look at his record. Mold, asbestos, and overcrowding. Postponed surgeries. Growing ER wait times. Seniors waiting in hospitals for long-term care beds. Profoundly inadequate mental health care. These are serious concerns, and Albertans deserve better. Healthcare professionals call us to tell us this PC government's neglect hurts the quality of care Albertans receive, and yet the Premier doesn't answer. Families call us to tell us that their loved ones' surgeries are delayed because this government has the wrong priorities, and yet the Premier doesn't answer. Albertans deserve better than a Premier that ducks responsibility on an issue as crucial as their health. Albertans deserve better than decades of neglected hospitals. Albertans deserve better than disingenuous assurances that cuts can be made, thousands of positions eliminated, without hurting the quality of health care received in this province even more. This PC government has had a second chance, and a third. In fact, they've had 43 budgets and 43 chances to get it right. But if they can't fix health care in the good times, if they can't fix health care in 43 years, why should anyone trust them to get the job done now? Albertans just can't trust the PCs to fix health care. They broke it, and every time they try to put it back together, they just make it worse. It's time to retire the PCs and elect a government that can do the job. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.